So can you give us a little bit more specific details about anything really stand up in your memory, in your recollection this time during your meetings with the uh, president? I started off by saying uh, his passion for reform, for his uh, uh, conduct, uh, even in domestic affairs like uh, poverty issues, uh, his concern for the general welfare of the people, and then uh, of the various initiatives, as I said, um, uh, BRI, and then um, the security concerns and uh, the uh, civilizational initiative. But his response was remarkable. He said, well, Anwar, you are also a student of Confucius. <laughs> uh, you right, seem to understand Chinese it. history. Mm -hmm. and I see your passion, uh, commitment to eradicate poverty in your country. Mm -hmm. And um, you wrote in the Asian Renaissance, the book, so I said, well, <laughs> this is, of course, commendable. Right? So we got the chemistry right, right from the beginning. Uh -huh. In my exchanges with uh, the President of JP, you'd be surprised. We, we talk about Cheng He's expedition. Uh -huh. we, we talked about Confucius. So, um, and when I, 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 when I wrote to him, thanking him for the Congo Jeritere note, I quoted from, uh, from uh, Confucius. And his reply last night, yesterday was this. You know, he quoted one of the Confucius sayings that finally leaders or we in uh, having responsibility need to do what is right. What was that quote from Confucius? Yeah, from Confucius, uh -huh. yeah. What needs to be? What, uh, do what is ultimately right. Because there are many oh. considerations. There are many other considerations you should have. But finally, how do you decide? You mm. decide what is right. So uh, we went along that way.